Good morning from Fort Clark Springs, Texas. Uh, it's, this is September the 19th at about probably 10.30 a.m. And you can see I've got my, this is the street out here. That's my Class C motorhome. Come on around, you got a one car carport. I've got my Starlink dish set up right there. And that's why I don't park my, two reasons I don't park my RV over here, on this side over here, is because number one, it, it blocks my view from my patio. Two, I've got my Starlink dish there right now and I don't want to have to run the card under it or whatever. But anyway, no, that's it. That's the way it's going to be. So anyway, we'll make a, a short, well, we won't go all the way around. We'll just show you. This is my lot right here. There's a little storage building in the back and I'll do a 360 and you can see, who's, see how many neighbors I've got. Nothing that way, zero that way. Uh, one neighbor here in that house is for sale. And then the golf course is just, I don't know, 100 yards through that brush. Come on around. That's all brush. Come on around. Brush, brush, brush. More brush. And, uh, yeah. And then on this side, nobody. Do you hear any barking dogs? I don't hear birds. And, uh, yeah, these are all mesquite trees. That's the way I grew up in South Texas with mesquite trees. Mesquite trees all around us. So anyway, as far as privacy, we got it, guys. This is great. Got a great place to walk in the mornings, and uh, so far, so good. It's a little humid here compared to Carrizozo. Any place is humid compared to Carrizozo, okay? But anyway, we'll go in. It's a 14 by 60 single wide mobile home with aluminum siding, aluminum roof. The roof is five years old. They, they did that when they built this deck and the deck i think is like 15 by 15 and it's pretty daggum nice oh and i added this non-slip tape but this is also this gray stuff right here that's a non-slip paint okay and he's got it all over the deck which is good uh got a nice uh, they left that table and chairs uh, this is my rocking chair and footstool and yeah this is a nice little patio to sit out uh in good weather it's a little warm right now got a fan here that's my power brick. And we've got a power source right there in the corner. Uh, I got a garden hose. I just bought me a six foot step ladder, $115, yo. And, uh, but I bought it at the local hardware. I like to do business locally, but you see those overhangs on the window here like that. Every now and then they do get hail storms here. And some people are really paranoid about getting their windows broken, but they added those and I, I'm glad they did because every, every exterior window has one of that covers and they left me a little heart see they left all this stuff you know what i mean and we'll get it straightened up here a little bit better this is where my heart is right here so let's see lucy that's what i named my house lucy so anyway i bought these rugs they had some others in here but uh they were too they moved too easily and i didn't want them to move and have me stand on my head but all everything that's in here was left here by the owners everything this thing right here, we'll take a look a closer at that in a minute. Over there, uh, got a ceiling fan up here. Of course, that's my temperature gauge, but that's their artwork, my heater and their stuff. But no, that's it. then that's very comfortable. Uh, you see, I put those pillows, that's their pillows. I took them off the bed and put them there because I uh, can, it, that thing is really soft. So that just makes it a little more comfortable for me. And this thing right here, it's got, let me tell you, man, there's all kind of stuff in here. Okay, so you got some storage stuff there, you know, like containers, you know. And then here, you got a little basket full of stuff. And this thing here is empty, but I thought it was neat because it's got the little fish on each end to hold it. <laughs> kind of a neat. And left they left all those glasses and mugs. Uh, up here, we've got uh, more stuff. You know, all that was left by the owners. I got enough plates for... 50 people. So now we'll go the another way here. Let me slip off my Crocs and walk on my comfortable floor, which is, uh, this is new. This was, this is five years old also. They redid the flooring, uh, I think when they wanted to turn it into a bed and breakfast. This is actually my table, but I put that little thing there. Why? I don't know. Just have something to do. There's the TV. I've got a 50 inch TV coming and it, it'll, that'll, see the only problem with that one is sitting over here, 
I can't read the small print, you know what I mean? It's not big enough, but we're gonna get it bigger. And then there's, they left this thing. I don't know what that's called, but they left it. And I've got some stuff in there. More artwork, nice window, big windows, man, big windows, 3050s, 3060s, you know. And uh, this is the bedroom that I slept in last night. Got a fan there. And they left that artwork, of course. There's my temperature gauge up there. It shows about 74 degrees even though I've got it set on 78, and uh, my fan, I brought my fan, another big window, and that's why I like this bedroom, okay? Because in the evenings, because I'm usually laying here, listening to an audio book and drinking some wine and having a snack, and it's twilight, you know? So I open that up, and there's no street lights shining in, no nothing. They got floor vents. I don't really like those, but there's not much I can do about it. Most mo mobile homes come with floor vents, like, rvs do sometimes this is the bed very comfortable bed this is a comfortable bed here Th those are that's wood that's all wooden up there and th so it's an old bed I, I don't know how old it is but it's old and then uh, got some artwork there a uh, little bedside table there a little whatever that is. <laughs> my sister wants this right here yeah this thing right here because this is an antique i mean no, no kidding man and uh yeah because those old mirrors they're real thick you know like they used to make them real glass, real thick, and that's my bed, uh, the tray I put, the, it's like a TV tray, and they left all of this stuff, see, that's all, they left that, little decorations and stuff, and these, these drawers, of course, are empty, but, uh, but anyway, got that, and then you got a closet here, pretty, a big closet, he, they got this here because this uh, deal here doesn't hit the striker right, you know, that's this thing called a striker plate, and, and I need to move it down a little bit and make it work, but anyway, that's just clothes I don't wear much. And there's an extra blanket that was on this bed. Yeah, the beds were, you know, got to had all the linens and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, we'll go out of this room now and go more. Yeah, I sleep very soundly right there, okay? And, you know, as far as using the other bed, at some point, you know, I might get a, another mattress. Who knows? Let me turn this light off. We'll turn the lights off as we go. And then you can see the whole thing from right here, pretty much. Kitchen straight ahead, washer and dryer, stacking straight ahead. My little dining table there, it's those little leaves on the side fold up, one on each side, and there's two extra chairs to uh, make a sit sitting for four. Th thank you for leaving that. And of course, the ceiling fan, that's on the low speed. And what else have we got here? Uh, well, we've got a microwave oven, electric range, then a hood, Big refrigerator, that's a Whirlpool refrigerator. And this is, a, it's a name brand. Uh, yeah, the, the the microwave oven is a Hamilton Beach, Todd Hall. And anyway, plenty of storage up above there and there's stuff in there already. There's a coffee maker and some pots and pans over there on top of the refrigerator. And that was all that was left. You know, I got a toaster and stuff over here. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do with all this stuff. And a good trash can, it's got a little foot thing there. And then I brought the beer, of course, and uh, this is some stuff to clean with right here. Uh, but I'm going to try to find a, a, a lady or somebody that knows how to clean, you know. And then that's my breakfast spot right there to fix my breakfast. And my breakfast stuff is up there. Got a big oven, of course, some storage under there and dishes. My God, do I have dishes. I got, a, I got enough dishes for 5,000 people. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, that, this is a miscellaneous drawer. There's stuff of theirs in there and stuff of mine. And then down here, uh, just some more stuff. No, it, it got everything. All pots and pans, knives, forks, spoons, all, you know, just, like a, just like you walk into your home. And then this is where I sit in the morning and do comment call. And uh, there's no real wall behind me here. Uh, I could sit the other way and kind of use that, but I don't think I will. Uh, yeah, there's the kind of the gang right there. And what else? Uh, you know, stacking washer and dryer. I just used it for the first time this morning. Uh, works good. You know, washed two loads and got it all done. Now, this is the bath, one bath. It's a one bath home. And uh, yeah, nice uh, tub shower. I like that. And it has shower liner and shower curtain. Place to hang towels. Got that. Got a big mirror here, but we need more light there. I'm gonna put some lighting there, extra lighting. Not, it's just a little dim. And of course you got some storage down there. 
And then we go over here, and this is the other bedroom that I was used, I used the first night and haven't used it since. Don't you love these colors, though? I think it's neater than crap, man. I mean, it's just colorful, you know what I mean? And anyway, there's a bedside table there, of course, a big bed. Uh, the, the, you, can't, you can't go without flamingos, pink flamingos. You got to have those. There's another bedside table there. I moved that over there because I had this fan on it, but then I found this little stand and I'm using it right now if I sleep in here. And then there's the DVD TV and that little pouch to the left of it is filled with DVDs. There must be a hundred or more in there. And then some more artwork here. Of course, they got smoke detectors in every room. And uh, what else? Uh, this is a this is some artwork here that's kind of cute. Uh, I don't know exactly what it represents. I'm not an artist, but anyway, this is <laughs> don't have much in here, does? Poor man lives here. And uh, yeah, and the hot water heater. It's a forty gallon. I've been. Uh, I was going to turn it on and off. You know what I mean? Like turn it off when I wouldn't use it, and then turn it back on. But it occurred to me that if you just leave it on. You probably come out just as good because if the water cools down, you got 40 gallons to, to heat back up. But we're, we're going to check our utility bill and make modifications as we go along. But yeah, this is my place right here. Uh, this is the air conditioner thing right here. I, I've got some new uh, uh, filters order. And then this comes in handy here kind of as a miscellaneous spot. And uh, that's some stuff. And then up here, but again, all this stuff was left. Like you know, everything that's up here, you know, they got ant killer and soap and stuff and the things you put in the dryer. And this is a lint thing to wipe the lint off of you, that thing. And yeah, so we got, uh, you know, there's some raid up there. Uh, hopefully I won't need, I haven't seen any insects in the house at all, even you know, anywhere. And then this right here, this is the, out goes out the back door. There's some steps here. Uh, four or five steps that go down and then here's another large window here right by this dining table which is neat and it's also got one of those things to keep hail from hitting the windows i suppose but anyway guys from fort clark springs on uh september the 19th at what time is it now well it's 11 o'clock now 11 a.m texas time and the tv is going to change but all in all guys i give it a 10 for me for me why well, it's, it's got everything, you know, it's, it's, it's a home, it's ready to go. And, and it appears to be, appears to be very energy efficient because, you know, the air conditioner is on auto and it cuts on rarely, rarely, but it, you know, it's heating and cooling. Of course, again, you got the floor vents and, uh, but yeah, I've got, them, I adjusted them so that we're getting more air in the places that I am most of the time. And yeah, so again, uh, the patio, pretty neat. Yeah, I haven't used it much. But anyway, what else? Uh, thumbs up, car pay diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want to help me live here in peace. <laughs> buy whatever you want, drink plenty of water, stretch walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. See, that's all. That's all. Just brush out those windows. You know, there's nobody there. Okay, no neighbors there. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, drink plenty of water, stand guard at the door of your mind, stand guard at the door of your mind. Uh, you know, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life, your life, the best way you can. I'm doing it, and I'm 79 years old, guys. Believe it or don't. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.